Hey Cancer, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Tarot Garden. My name is Monique and I am a tarot reader and psychic and we are going to be looking at um, your forecast for October 5th to 11th. So um, I have cleansed my deck already and um, I guess I'll tell you a little bit about how I read. So. I do use tarot um, and I spread out my cards and then that kind of paints a picture for my intuition and my intuition takes over. So, um, oh, well, we'll leave these out. So um, yeah, the same card can mean two different things to me in two different readings. So let's take a look, Cancer, at uh, what you have in store for the week ahead. So let's take a look. All right. All right, that feels good. Ooh, a lot going on. Okay, so let's take a look here. So, I feel like there could be a lot of Capricorn energy in your life right now. So, um, just with the Devil card coming up, um, this is associated with Capricorn, but it's just like a feeling I'm getting here. So, um, we had a couple cards fly out of the deck as I was shuffling. So the chariot and the knight of pentacles. So, um, those two cards kind of set the tone for the reading. And I mean, the chariot is all about success. And the Knight of Pentacles, I mean, to me, I see financial stability. So um, if you are in the middle of a new project or something like that, your finances are going to be fine. I don't see you winning millions of dollars this week or making millions of dollars this week, but I do see that your finances are going to be stable. So with the Chariot coming up right next to that Knight of Pentacles, um, this is an okay time to take some risks. So I feel like it's a good week if you are trying to challenge yourself. Um, if you're taking a leap of faith, it's a good time to do it. So, um, okay. Now, it's interesting that the devil comes up. Again, I feel like Capricorn energy. Um, and the Queen of Wands is kind of crossing. So, okay, for those of you, for those of you that are in a relationship with, I would say for those of you Cancers that are in a relationship with a, um, with a woman, um, especially a Capricorn woman, uh, this is going to be a big week for you. So um, I feel like this is kind of the time to cut the BS and it might be time to create some distance between you and your partner. So um, I know that's very specific. I mean Capricorn, woman and, and that kind of thing. But for those of you that are in that situation, I just hate. I say what I feel. So I'm just saying it. Um, for everybody else though, um, I would definitely, this is a week where you need to keep your bad habits in check. So, um, you know, it's okay to let loose if you're going for drinks and stuff like that, but just make sure it's not, this just isn't, you know, this isn't the right week to be going out partying or doing anything like that. Um, be careful about some of your weaknesses, like, 
you know, maybe being lazy, um, maybe this week you need to make a bit of a strict schedule for yourself, something like that, because it can be, I just see temptation. So this week has a lot of temptation in it, um, and not the good kind, um, just it doesn't serve you this week. Um, I also definitely see with the six of swords coming up, I see you physically creating space between you and your problem. So this can mean many things. This can mean that you are distancing, distancing yourself from people. This could also mean you're getting ready to move, which could be amazing. Um, so, um, and I mean like move houses, move where you're living. So, um, yeah and i also feel like um with the empress energy coming up um your motherly side is definitely coming up this week um you're in a position where you're probably caring for children or caring if you don't have kids you're caring for people around you and that's okay this is um this is definitely a time where this sort of energy gives you a lot of joy. So even though you're, I guess, you're using your energy, you're expending your energy on other people, that's okay because it fills your cup. So, um, I would also say for those of you that don't want to get pregnant be careful this week so just throwing it out there um this has been a common theme with a lot of the readings i've been doing but the page of swords comes up so the page of swords is all about it's like disagreements or not getting along with someone so this can be not getting along with someone at work. This could be one of your friends. I don't see it as being um, a part of a love relationship or anything like that. But there, well, it could be an ex. Could be an ex. But you are definitely going head to head with someone. And at the end of the day, it's not going to make a huge difference in your big plans or anything like that. But it's definitely an annoyance. And with the Knight of Swords coming up, I just feel like you are going to be disagreeing with someone who does a lot of this. So it could be someone who just talks a lot, very brazen, um, and someone who's quite impulsive too. So um, again, just be mindful of it. The whole point of these readings is that hopefully if there's some things coming up that could be an annoyance, you could just figure out a plan to make sure you avoid it. So um, I'm definitely seeing that. I'm also seeing that you are lacking, um, you're, well, I mean, we're all lacking some social time because of COVID and all that good stuff. But um, I feel like, you really need to make an effort to go out with a friend of yours so um or friends schedule a dinner um if you wait until you know you're not busy or they're not busy everyone's busy all the time nobody seems to find time to do anything that's why you have to start scheduling this stuff so um Another few things are uh, for those of you that are maybe starting your own business or um, are starting something new, um, this is not the week to be asking other people for their opinions. You need to go within yourself and that's what the High Priestess is all about. It's all about going within yourself, ask yourself the important questions and other people's opinions just simply do not matter. Um, This for you uh, single ladies out there that are looking for a man, um, it might be, I feel like this is not only a good week to get out with your friends, but go on a date if you can. Um, well, the King of Cups 
is uh, coming up and you know what you might not totally love the guy or you're unsure about the person but just get out and you know what go for a drink go for a dinner something like that it'll do you good so um, cancer I think you're gonna have an awesome week so um, thank you again for tuning in and um, I can't wait to hear if this resonates with you and we will see you next week. Bye-bye.